<laughs> yes, John Cena. I guess that's a good a good entryway. E, good call there. I know you're you're, you're on vacation mode. He's got his fancy whiskey. John Dutton would be proud. And we've reached episode ninety five of the Three Guys Talking Ball podcast. This is the Kyle Williams, Richard Dent edition of uh, the Three Guys Talking Ball podcast. I uh, what about had what to about, do some googling. What about Chris Jones coming back on Monday? With episode ninety five, true. We do. Um, we don't talk. We don't uh, promote selfish players. Was so Kenichi Udesi number ninety five as well. Like, that's a been. good question. Is that that's a fucking Vikings helmet on top of Ethan's head? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I'm by Percy Harvin. Oh, there, how's oh, your there head, you go. How's your head feeling? You got headaches, or, or are you taking uh, a little? Not yet. Not yet. A little something to uh, to go with that, there, Percy. Just wanted to hit somebody. Yeah. Oh, very nice. But Ooh, Desi, he's yes. either ninety he was either ninety five or ninety nine. No, there's no way they did ninety nine because of Randall. He Randall was ninety three. Was he? Oh, you're right. Why did I think he was ninety nine? Maybe he was ninety nine. I don't know. No, he was ninety three. He was ninety three. Yeah, I'm gonna look it up. He is the uh did you know that he's the assistant D line coach for the Titans right now? Who is Fun John? Fact? Who Kenechi Udesi Udesi. Udesi. He was ninety five, yep. He okay, was number. Well, he was ninety four at USC, but ninety five for the okay. Vikings. Well, shout so out to Ethan for getting there. that one right. Yeah. Shout out to Ethan for getting that one right. Former cancer I, patient. I suppose. Well, then we'll change it to the Kenechi Udesi ep- uh, edition of the podcast because you know we had Richard Dent who played for the Bears, and we don't need that negativity. We'll dead. get into the Bears here in a little bit. But so we decided here this year instead of talking about our favorite team since we're doing live recaps after the games and posting it to our socials we're gonna change things up a little bit here we're gonna go nfl to recap week one we're gonna we're gonna do this every week here we're gonna do surprise team disappointing team told you so team and to add a little bit of juice to this we are we cannot choose one of the the team somebody else chose so Hopefully you guys have a couple of them and then uh, we can go from there. And then for college team uh, for college week, uh, week recap, we're going to pick a team of the week. Also same rules apply. And then to preview it, we're going to each pick a game that we we're going to want to talk about that. We're going to keep an eye on. We're going to do that for college as well. And then as always, we're going to wrap up with curveball of the week, but before we get into into the uh, our our surprise disappointing told you so team and you know if anybody else did this but i was i was brought aware to this on twitter by one of our loyal listeners derek and if there was any it was any other stooge sellout or anybody else i would not have uh, i would not do this but derek always giving us uh feedback some good sometimes not good um you know Derek, Derek doesn't have a great choice, has very poor choice of teams, but we're not going to hold that against him. He still listens to us, supports us every week. And you know what? Appreciate the guy's honesty. So we didn't do this last week. We're going to start off, guys, since we didn't do it. And this is all Grant's fault because he said it's too early in the year to do this. But we are going to do our Super Bowl predictions here. Oh, wow. Now, and Grant's looking at me all funny. You're an idiot. I said what was a waste of time <laughs> was divisions one through four. I didn't say Super Bowl was a waste, was too early in the year. I said going one through four in each division was, was a waste a of idea, time. Grant. It's the same thing. Same no, it's thing. not. It was your no, idea. That's what no, I took it's, it at. Yeah. No, uh-huh, it's yep. not. Yes. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. So. We're going to go with our Super Bowl teams and since we're going to be doing this with uh um we we are we're it's going to it's dependent on who's going first here. We're going to go this is going to be snake draft style here. So, I have I have names right here. Oh wow. In a hat. Um and I I, I made mine Roger shorter so I know that flip with the first pick of the 2023 Three Guys Talking Ball podcast. Yep, that's 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 a good idea. Um, but I I, should, I cheated. So, so this is like this is Goodell? like Kim Jong Un for basketball. His, his to... own rules. I made all my names shorter, so I know it's they're mine. Well, t- if if Dylan's getting the full Goodell treatment, Ethan, join in on me. Boo! boo. <laughs> we should just boo this man yeah. every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boo. boo this man. 
<laughs> All right. So with the first pick in the episode 95, three guys talking about podcast snake draft, the first pick is Grant. Grant Whoa. is number one. All right. Handwriting. Thank you. I had, a, uh, I had a teacher in first grade tell me it wasn't very good. Ever since then, my mom made sure I had good handwriting. Well, she was wrong. Was her name talk- Carol? Sounds like My a very first grade teacher. Yeah. Uh, I I will not speak. I'm trying to not speak negatively about people anymore. Um, well, that's not fun. That's stupid. Just because they old. don't know that doesn't mean you can't say it. She, you know, the funny part about that is, <laughs> is that my mom actually replaced her when she retired. Yeah, because she sucked. Yeah, <laughs> the teacher teacher before better. your mom. Oh, she did. <laughs> worst, one of the worst teachers I've ever had. By See? far. Actually, probably what? the worst. I don't think she listens to this or knows or remembers me. But well, mo- most, I remember most of- when when she walked when my, I went and I was helping my mom move move stuff into her room, and I, I I said something along the lines of, "I can still hear her screaming." And then when I went back to school because I thought I was going to be a teacher, uh, we had to do a like a we had to talk about our the worst teacher we had, and I didn't say the names. And then my teacher comes up to me. She goes, was it so-and-so? I was like, yep, you got it. Yep, that was her. Yep. And it was like, yeah, she she just was always just such, so angry and crabby all the time. It's when you know you've built up a heck of a reputation when people know who you are without saying who you actually are. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then in the second pick of the three guys talking ball snake draft of episode 95, yours truly. That would be Mr. Mr. Grass. Yeah, and then, well, Ethan, I, I, I put in a bunch, so I wasn't just grabbing one, but, oh, look at that. Ethan, there it is. The Take election the counts. Cheers, boys. So, the election counts. Yep. It was fair. It was not, like to, uh, we were not harvesting ballots. Like to, uh, there were no dead people that were voting in it. I would like to file an appeal. With uh, Are nope. we going to the Minnesota State Supreme Court? Because they might need to hear this. We're going right to the we're going right to the res. Well, it, it oh, crosses oh, state God, we are so screwed. Screwed. <laughs> I live in Shakopee. There's a reservation here. We're going with it. Well, is, is, <laughs> hold on. Is the casino technically in Shakopee or is it technically in Prior Lake? I have it's probably Prior Lake, but I have a casino across the street. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I forgot about World's that. biggest poker room. Just saying. That's right. All right. Well, shout out, shout out. Poker. Uh, shout I barely out. even know her. No, I know. Shout, shout out Shakopee and Canterbury Park. <laughs> Big time. <laughs> but, all right. Well, and and we can we can steal each other if we have the same Super Bowl prediction. But the other things we cannot steal. So, Grant, yeah, sure. since you 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 got first pick, right. and it was your fault in the first place. You should we should just bump Ethan and have you and Ethan swap, but. I would like you to know, request free a fair trade. fair elections. So well, well. So the Grant, Super Bowl. The who Super is Bowl, you, who's going to be in your Super Bowl? Who's going to be in my Super Bowl? Well, fellas, we're going to have a rematch, not of last year, but the last good sporting event before COVID nineteen happened. We're going to go back to February of twenty twenty. Chiefs, 49ers. This time it'll be in Las Vegas, but we're going to have the same winner. I'm going to go Chiefs over Niners. I said that before last week's debacle in week one. I'm sticking to it. We're not going to overreact to one game. You guys know how much I love the 49ers team yes. in Shanahan. And how, um, and I think that offense is going to be humming the way they were the last seven games with Brock last year. Like I mentioned, in Kansas City, Chris Jones is back. Travis, Travis Kelsey is going to get healthy. Here I think they're going to run the ball a little more while I figure out this passing game. And it gives time for the Chiefs defense to play well again throughout the whole year. So rematch, Super Bowl 54, this time it's Super Bowl 58. Chiefs over 49ers. All right, there you go. And, well, that goes to me then. I will, uh, I'm going to, you know, Grant, you kind of stole my idea here. I also have Chiefs 49ers in the Super Bowl. Whoa. And... I'm going with, I think Brock Purdy stays healthy. I think they're going to be 
I think the 49ers, I really like this team. And after week one, they completely burned me on my Steelers plus two. Probably early, early favorite right now for dumbest bet of the year. Um, I'm going with the 49ers Chiefs as well, but I think it is very hard to repeat. There's a reason why we haven't seen it happen. It doesn't happen very often where the last time was the 03, 04 Patriots. And before that was the, I guess it was only six or seven years, but has has not happened in, well, now it'll be crazy to think 20, 20 years since the last time a team repeated. And I think that trend continues for at least another year. And I take, I'm taking the 49ers to win their sixth Super Bowl. Oh God, no, I can't. Uh, but yeah, I, no, you said it, it's on the record. I guess I would put it's it on the record. on the record. That would, that would put them ahead of the Cowboys and, but yeah, I, this is a good 49ers team. And until Dallas beats them, I have to pick the 49ers as a fair and unbiased journalist. I guess journalist you can use lightly, but. Especially um, in today's world. Yeah. I, I think I am, I am probably the fair, one of the fairest journalists. I think this is, this podcast is probably the fairest, most objective journalist, uh, uh, Honest, honest. Oh, we're we're basically America's honesty brokers. Let's let's pump the brakes here because I understand Dallas opened up a can of whoop ass last week, but you said the Cowboys were going to have a great year. Let's not overreact to one week and call that honesty. Let's, let's I just, still think they're going to have a great year. I understand. There's a long way to go. You know they're still ascending, but I I I I am very encouraged. Don't be mad. Hey, and also, there's only one one team here. One of our teams here who's undefeated, and that's that's me right now. And yes, I will take the Week One Super Bowl. Thank you very much. Because okay. in the words in the words of Stephen A. Smith, <laughs> they're an accident waiting <laughs> to happen. <laughs> well, um, if you guys are wrong, we're all going to be wrong because uh, I'm going 49ers Chiefs too. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't think 49ers looked amazing. Um, oh, Chiefs man. are main, but they just shot themselves in the foot. Detroit didn't look that good. Um, but no, I don't think anyone's going to beat the Chiefs when it comes down to it. Uh, Mahomes makes better plays than anyone else. Uh, except in the Super Bowl, Brock Purdy, pride of Cyclones, uh, state of Iowa, they're uh, they're going to win. The 49ers win. Sorry, Grant. Two uh, slaps I'm, in the face on I'm that one. I'm fine with the Niners, but the whole Iowa State thing is just it's upsetting. But hey. It's all right. It's so all right, the, Grant. You got the uh, the Cyhawk is back home, so you got the win. You got, you got that the win going, this last you know. weekend, so so life is good. And I Brock will say, Purdy, this. Brock Purdy also zero and four against the the Hawkeyes in his career. So I zero and zero and three. They didn't play in twenty. True. Oh, that's right. They would have been zero and four though. So they would have been they would have been zero and four. But yeah. um, I mean, hey, you're not going to find any Brock Purdy slander here. I li- I like Brock. He's a good dude. 